municipal solid waste a menace in the growth of the country. Of the many challenges modernity is faced with, disposal of MSW happens to be one of the most gruesome ones. As per the report submitted by Central Pollution Control Board, the total quantity of waste generation is around 1,35,000 tons per day. In Durgapur Municipal Corporation area, the waste generation is in the order of 250 tons per day. The MSW is classified into two categories, the wastes collected daily from households, market, bins, vats, etc. are called live wastes. And the wastes dumped for long periods at landfill sites are called dead wastes. Unscientific disposal of wastes causes terrible health hazards for all, people, flora and fauna. Burning and incineration of wastes at the dump sites causes a high level of air and water pollution. Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, Durgapur and Apex Research and Development Institute under the aegis of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. CSIR CMERI has designed and developed MSW management pilot plant where day-to-day -day wastes generated from the residential campus are being processed in an innovative way to achieve a zero waste residential campus. Let's take a look at the process. The wastes collected from the campus contain organics, plastics and small amounts of inert materials. The waste requires judicious segregation for effective disposal. To overcome this challenge, CSIR CMERI has designed and developed a mechanized segregation process where the wastes are primarily being segregated into four categories metallic wastes, biodegradable wastes, non biodegradable wastes, and inert. Generally, the waste materials from households are disposed of in plastic bags. The bags are first dropped in a crusher where the bags are teared off and the materials come out into the hopper. Hot air is passed over the materials so that the surface moisture is reduced substantially which facilitates the further segregation process. The dried materials are passed over an eddy current separator where the ferrous and non-ferrous metallic components are separated. The rest of the wastes are sent to the air separation unit through the inclined bucket conveyor. During gravity fall from the hopper, the floating plastics are being separated out using high pressure air jet. The separated plastic waste is collected in the perforated hopper. The large packets, bottles, sanitary items, etc. get blocked over the inclined vibratory screen and get collected in the attached hopper. The undersized materials, mainly biomass, is collected in the collection hopper. The segregated biodegradable wastes are being utilized for biogas production. Biogas production from organic waste is a well-developed technology. In this process, CSIR CMERI has incorporated different technological interventions to make the process more mechanized and efficient. First is biomass grinder come stara. Second is the automatic gas evacuation system. Third is recycling of the slurry water. Biomass grinder come stara has been installed over the feeding chamber where the biomass is being fed and mixed with fresh water and the grinded material is being mixed with recycled slurry using the stara. The material is then fed to the anaerobic digester where complex microbiological digestion process takes place and the biogas is produced. Biogas is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, water vapor, hydrogen sulfide. The floating dome over the digestion chamber is moved upward due to gas pressure. 
in the automatic gas extraction system, ultrasonic position sensor senses the position of the dome and accordingly the compressor switched on or off. The compressor sucks the gas and stores in the storage tank. The biogas can be utilized in cooking, in kitchen. After carbon dioxide scrubbing, the biogas becomes methane enriched. It can be utilized in gas engine for electricity generation. The slurry coming out of the digestion chamber is stored in the slurry tank. Slurry pumps have been installed to recycle slurry water in the feeding chamber. It helps in reduction of fresh water consumption and enhance gas production yield. After anaerobic digestion, the spent slurry becomes excellent organic manure that is rich in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. After it is dried, the manure is used in agricultural fields. CSIR CMERI has developed technology for utilization of dead waste accumulated in the landfill area. It has been tested using the collected waste from Shankarpur, the landfill of Durgapur Municipal Corporation. The waste was brought to the pilot plant for segregation and treatment. The mechanized segregation system segregates the dead waste into degraded fines, metals, non-biodegradable materials and inert. The intervention with CMERI technology can make mechanized segregation of dead waste a reality. The wastes first are put into a rotary sieve through the vibratory chute where the biodegraded fines get separated out. It can be used as manure. After the separation of fines, the remaining wastes are passed over the eddy current separator where metallic components are separated. What remains thereafter is sent to the air separation system. The non-biodegradable plastics and inert wastes are separated through gravimetric method. The separated plastics are shredded to specific size so that entrapped air gets removed and the effective surface area gets increased. CSIR CMERI has developed the solution for disposal of polymer waste through plasma gasification and pyrolysis. Municipal solid waste as well as plastic waste is being disposed of with the help of electric arc plasma technology. The plasma is generated between two oppositely charged graphite electrodes. The electric ionization is carried out through low voltage in the range of 30 to 50 volts and high current in the range of 200 to 300 amperes. The temperature is raised to as high as 3000 degrees Celsius during the ionization process. The chances of production of toxic gases like dioxin and furan at such high temperatures and anaerobic condition are bleak. The shredded plastics are fed into the plasma reactor. In the plasma gasification process, it is essential to maintain anaerobic conditions. The continuous feeding of the shredded polymer waste is utilized involving the two knife-edged valves operating alternately in tandem. The electrode position is controlled by rotating the holding knob from outside. In the reactor, the material comes in contact with the plasma and the gasification starts. The output gases are mainly carbon monoxide, hydrogen, hydrocarbons, and carbon dioxide. The product gas is passed through catalytic converter and redox reactor. It converts any traces of higher hydrocarbon to lower forms and finally into carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Catalysts like nickel is used for this purpose. The carbon sieves in redox reactor reduces the additional oxygen in carbon monoxide. The gas is then cleaned 
in cyclone separator and scrubber and then cooled in the condenser. The carbon monoxide and hydrogen enriched syngas has high calorific value. It can be used for generation of electricity in gas engine. Polymer wastes are being disposed of through pyrolysis process. Pyrolysis is the thermal degradation of wastes. CSIR CMERI has developed heating process in two ways through electrical heating and through combustion of syngas and biogas. The shredded plastics are first being fed into the anaerobic reactor chamber. The plastic wastes are heated at a temperature of around 350 degrees to 450 degrees Celsius in the absence of oxygen. The condensable substances are collected in condenser in the form of oil. The oil is filtered to make it clean. The pyrolysis oil can be utilized as petro alternate fuel which can be used in industrial boilers and generators as it has equivalent calorific value of diesel. CSIR CMERI has developed technologies to convert agro wastes such as dry leaves, dead branches into briquettes that can be used as fuel. The leaves and woods are shredded into fine sizes. They are mixed with the slurry of the biogas plant or cow dung in appropriate proportion which acts as a binder. The mixture becomes fed stock for the briquette. This mixture is then fed into the briquette making machine developed by CSIR CMERI. The produced briquettes are first air dried before being utilized in smokeless stove developed by CSIR CMERI. The stove has two combustion chambers. In the primary chamber, the briquettes are burnt and the same flames are used in the secondary chamber for heating. It has been compared with the direct combustion of wood. It has very nominal smoke emission which is eco-friendly and maintains a healthy working atmosphere for the end user. CSIR CMERI has developed CND waste recycling system. Where the CND wastes are being collected from different areas and processed at the pilot plant. The dumped waste then shall be sent from the hopper to the crusher through the vibratory chute and inclined belt conveyor. The debris is then crushed in the jaw crusher. The crushed materials are then sent into the rotary trommel. The fine size material comes out from the trommel. The oversized materials come out from the other end. The segregated fines coming out from the trommel are mixed at appropriate proportions with binder and water in the mixing machine. The resultant mixture is the feedstock for bricks. The mixture of optimum quantity is then fed in the die cavity of the brick making machine. The material is then pressed using the punch. The pressure is being generated and controlled in the hydraulic power pack. This gives the mixture a definite shape. The bricks are then cured in normal water for 7 to 10 days to have the desired strength. The oversized materials are being used as the aggregates for PCC. Different works like construction of pavement, car parking and embankment of tar road etc are being carried out utilizing these aggregates. The use of CMERI technologies has made the CMERI campus a zero waste colony and the scientists at the institute are working incessantly to improve the technologies even further. It is expected that the technologies developed by CMERI 
for disposal of municipal solid wastes will soon spread far and wide and help meet the challenges that these wastes pose to humankind.